Hello, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Uh, today we'll just quickly show you how to associate a Windows profile with a Google credential, Google credential provider for Windows or GCPW. So I just created a brand new uh, Windows profile. So I'll just have to go through the initial uh, welcome screen. Uh, so if anybody knows how to disable this using uh, Windows policies, please let us know in comments. So while that is running, I am just going to switch over to the admin console and show you the few important steps that must be done. So GCPW already has ins been installed on the device. So we haven't signed in yet using a Google account. So we, what we are now going to do is set up a custom attribute. So custom attributes are created from the Google Admin Console under directory, or the URL is admin.google.com slash ac slash custom schema. So you can also use directory API to create custom schemas. So one thing that's very important is the capitalization of the custom schema or the f name of the field. So it is enhanced desktop security and it can, you can have one of the other, one of the two subfields. So local Windows accounts with capital L and W or AD accounts uh, with lowercase a. So once that's set, you can edit the user. Uh, so as it is shown here, so username is workspace admin, but I have just changed the username. So I'll switch over to the Windows device. And here I'm signed in. So I will just create a brand new text account or text document that says, come to workspace admins. So let me sign in, we'll know it's the right uh, Windows profile. And I'll just open local user manager that MSC. And I'll just come from the username. So it is workspace admins one word capital w capital a so i'll switch over to the admin console here so i need to add an s at the end save and i'll just refresh here just to make sure that change has been saved so i'm now going to switch over back to the test machine log off And now the most difficult part, which is entering my password. So I'll just click on add work account and hopefully fourth time is the charm today. I'll need to enter my email first. And I can never get this on the first try. So this was actually my fourth time doing it. Second try usually works. One thing to note that security key doesn't work on the Windows sign-in screen. So I have been told that this is a Windows uh, limitation. And my one-time password just changed. So let's use that. So now I'll just enter my Windows password and that will sign me in. Okay, as you can see, I have the document there. So I'll just log off one more time. 
and you'll probably see that the name changed for the account so now it says Brian Kim which is my username on the workspace admins domain or my display name rather and Kim will probably suggest that I change my password to something easier but I am going to eventually memorize this password I don't know what it is. I always get it on the second try, never the first. So now, you, as you can see, the account association has been completed as it should. And I'm just going to open add or remove programs. Just to confirm the versions of Chrome and GCPW that I am running. Google Chrome, I'm running 95, GCPW, I'm running 94. So they both should be 64 bits that I have installed. Hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe this to this video or to our channel. And um, you can also join our Google group to gain access to our share drive, which contain uh, a lot of material uh, that might be useful to you. Thanks.